Tucson, Arizona. A city known for many things, especially warm weather and outdoor living. We are famous for college sports, beautiful sunsets, endless road construction, being a nesting place for snowbirds, and of course, having the largest chain of used bookstores in the nation. But what some people don't remember is Tucson's number one designation as a clean air city. People from all over the world used to flock to Tucson because of our air quality, visiting Tucson for their respiratory problems. But we're no longer famous for our clean air. As Tucson has expanded, so have the problems affecting our air quality. The biggest culprit? Motor vehicle pollution. Cars are the number one cause of air pollution in Pima County. Residents drive 27 million miles every day. For every 33 miles that we drive, one pound of pollution is dumped into our air. That means we generate over 400 tons of carbon monoxide each day in Pima County, as well as 65 tons of ozone precursors that affect global warming. It's not surprising then that Tucson's air is not quite as clean as it once was. But all of this can change. Bookman's, a longtime supporter of environmental programs and a proponent of electric transportation, was among the first businesses in Arizona to install electric vehicle or EV charging stations. For years, those stations provided EV owners with the opportunity to recharge at their local Bookman's. As new and more efficient electric cars and hybrids begin to enter the market, Bookman's wanted to make sure we had up-to-date charging technology to match the newest EV technology. To make this happen, Bookman's connected with Colleen Crown and Shield, manager of the Clean Cities Coalition, a Pima Association of Governments program which promotes the use and development of clean fuels, clean fuel vehicles on our streets, and electric vehicle charging stations throughout Tucson and Pima County. Bookman's replaced the outdated EV1 charging stations with the newest column charge point technologies to make sure we could meet consumer demand. The installation process was so groundbreaking that even Bob Oldfather, Bookman's founder and owner, got into the action. After the installation was in effect, things started to move like clockwork, as Bookman's helped spread awareness to make Tucson a healthier, more progressive city. At a recent Tucson City Council meeting, Bookman's and the Clean Cities Coalition were recognized for their efforts toward making Tucson a clean, green city. Councilwoman Karen Ulick and Mayor Bob Walkup presented a proclamation in support of an electric vehicle-friendly community. Now it was time to celebrate with the kickoff party at Bookman's Grant location. It was a great time with free food, coffee, t-shirts, and so much more. We introduced the Tucson community to our new friend, the Column Charge Point. Bob brought classic cars from his EV museum to the event to demonstrate his passion for clean air transportation. Many spoke at the event, including Councilwoman Ulick, who read the proclamation that Tucson is an EV-friendly community. Bookman's leader, Bob Oldfather, also took to the stage to offer a few inspiring words. I'm thrilled to finally do this. We had the EV1 chargers, and I'm glad that finally a standard is, is around, that we can have chargers that everybody can use. I liken this a lot to recycling. When we all first started it 20 or so years ago, it didn't make economic sense. This is the same kind of thing. It doesn't quite make economic sense yet, but that's why people have to step up and do it and battery technology will get better, more people have electric. I have a guy that works for me, he's told me he's got 10,000 miles on his gym car. He rides it every day, and uh, it's possible, it works. After Bob spoke, Miss Crown and Shield joined him in cutting the ribbon, officially opening the Charge Point Station. The lucky first vehicle to charge up its batteries was a brand new Tesla, traveling from Los Angeles to the Detroit Auto Show. Tesla was on a mission to show consumers that EVs can travel long distance. But the sleek and modern Teslas aren't the only cars that can use this fast charge point station. Our station is adaptable to any electric vehicle, including the Nissan Leaf. The Nissan Leaf was recently unveiled at the top of the Pennington Street Garage in downtown Tucson. And Bookman's was invited to see the car that will help make Tucson a cutting-edge city for electric transportation. Tucson was one of five cities selected by Nissan as a test market to release the LEAF for public sales. The LEAF runs as efficiently as most gasoline-powered cars currently on the market. And to prove it, test runs were offered. Bob couldn't help but take it for a spin. With the easy handling and power of the LEAF, he was certainly convinced. In connection with the LEAF's arrival, Tucsonans should expect to see approximately 75 charging stations popping up all over the city. Bookman's will be among the first to meet consumer demands at both of its Grant Road and Ina Road locations, as well as our store in Mesa. You can not only count on Bookman's being good for your pocket, but good for the planet as well.